You're watching an Involve Me tutorial on collecting payments from your audience using the collect payment element. This is how a payment element could look like within your project. You can find it on the right side in the e-commerce tab. As you can see, mine is grayed out, but that's because I already have one inside of the project. And here is how you can set it up for yourself. By clicking on the element, the first thing that you get to decide is if you want to collect one-time payments or subscription and recurring payments. For this tutorial, we're going to stick with one-time payments. Then, in payment methods, you will need to connect a payment processor. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to connect PayPal. So, simply click Connect a Payment Processor. Either that, or you can go to the link that you see on the screen right now. Now we're going to try to connect a test account. And so we're going to connect the test account in PayPal Business. As you can see, here we're met with a few boxes. In order to fill these in, we're going to need to go to our PayPal first. Inside of your PayPal, you're going to navigate to the Developer section on the top of your screen. Then, you're going to go to Apps and Credentials and click on Create App. For the app name, we're going to go with Involve underscore me or something similar to this. And then click on Create App. After this has been created, I can hop back into my payment integrations, connect the test account, click on PayPal, and then, as you can see, I have my client ID right here, which I can copy, paste right here, my secret key, which I can copy and paste right here, and finally, the email address for the sandbox. And then just click on connect. And if you wanted to switch to live after you're done testing, you could just toggle here and switch to live. Of course, then you would also need to connect a live payment account. And now, as you can see, if I go back to my payment element, click on it, I actually have my payment processor right here and I can click on it and you can see it gives me the prompt that it's a test method. Let's actually see how it looks like within a project. As you can see, the button is live and working and I could click on it and if it was a real account, I could actually make the payment. Once you've done this once, you can use this for all the other payment elements in all your other projects and you only need to really set this up and connect it once. So even if I delete this payment element, I could go in again, drag and drop it and select my linked and connected payment processing method. It is important to note that you can only place the payment element on the thank you and the outcome pages. On your screen right now, you can see the available payment methods for one-time payments and for subscriptions and recurring payments. Feel free to pause the video and look at this in more detail. For recurring payments, you'll need to set this up on your payment platform first. So once we've connected our payment processor, we can change the currency, we can change the price source, so it can either be a fixed price, which it is right now, or it could actually be calculated from a score or from a calculator based on the answers of our participants from the project. Creating custom quotas in an incredibly easy way. One of the coolest things that you can do with this element is that you could, for example, have a personalized offer, and then in the thank you page, you would have a custom calculator that would be able to calculate the exact offer based on the inputs from your audience. And this would make for both an automated and customized solution for your projects. And finally, if you would select score, it means that the values of your questions get added up with the individual scoring option, which will ultimately give you the final price. There is a separate tutorial on how scoring works and you can find it at help.involve.me in case you're curious. And finally, you can also edit the text on the button, of course, you could customize the text before. So for example, give the sum and then here, which of course is not very professional, but just to illustrate the example that you can customize the text before and after the price. It is important to note that if payments are collected while the project was in draft mode, it will automatically be deleted as the project is published. If you remove a submission from your analytics or delete your project, you will also remove the payment information from the submission. However, you will not see it on your payment platform. And of course, the users who close your project will not be able to fulfill the payment afterwards and they will need to click through the project again. If you want to see which of the submissions are paid, you can open the, your project analytics tab and here you will see the payment status of all your subscriptions. And just like that, you know how to collect payments from your audience. For more support, go to help.involve.me. And good luck getting involved.